Opening the windows in the morning is my favorite part of the day. No. One of my favorite parts. It's my favorite part of the morning. Right after coffee and food. Oh no! No milk. I was really looking forward to that. You guys stay here. I am once again today, the milkman. We need milk. Can't have cereal, can't have our coffee. Actually, we could have our coffee because we drink our coffee almost black as it is, but we need just a little bit of milk, just a splash of milk, or it's not right. We can't be in a household with no milk. Therefore, I have been nominated as tribute. I have to go get the milk. All right, 7-Eleven. You were good to me last time. Be good to me again. You better got milk. Better have milk. Proper English is very important. You better have milk. I hope you got milk. Nothing bothers me more than bad grammar. I'm one of those people. Milk, 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 milk. Milk and not candy bars. Milk and not candy bars. Milk and not candy bars. Hi. I'm good, how are you? Victory! Because we're winners, all of us. Together, nothing can stop us. And I, I, I got a Reese's. Timmy's, are you open today? This one keeps shutting down like sporadically. Sometimes it's open, sometimes it's closed. Stop playing with my emotions. Looks like they're open today. We left the house, so mandatory. Hi, Dad. Hi. Could I get a extra large steep tea with one milk and half a sugar? Yes. Yeah. And could I get uh, 
an extra large coffee with two cream and a shot of espresso, please. Can I get it to go? That's everything? That's it. 554, please, thank you. Super duper. <laughs> she giggled, she giggled. <laughs> I got a little laugh out of her at least. <laughs> uh, when you go through the drive-through, ask for it to go. I think it's... Someone commented that on one of my videos. They're like, whenever they go through the drive-through, they always ask for their order to go. Uh, man, I got the dad jokes down pat. Now I just need to be a dad. <laughs> uh, I've been practicing. This is a delicate process. Diesel, you want to help me out? It's been a little while. I haven't had my shaver in a while. It was in the truck there. I actually have two shavers. I use this uh, Remington for the long stuff. And uh, I use this other one here, what is this? Uh, I think it's also a Remington. I don't know, it's an older one. Name's already worn off of there. This one I use for the close along the skin for the trimming. Cause this one always grabs the hairs and pulls it. This one cuts nicer on the skin, but it doesn't do as well with long hair. Like I said, it's a delicate process. It's gonna be too bright. Only the best for this face. This beard. Right? I don't know, what's your process? Or are you just not shaved? You just have you just given up? You got one of those big Santa beards, ZZ tops? Respect. It takes a lot of maintenance to keep up with those things. Gotta have that nice line. Huh? Nice Put all the neck hairs. What do you think? How's the mustache? My mustache grows really weird. It's hard to manage it. Put your muzzle on so you don't bite anybody. Am I right? All right. So I've come here to refill our water jugs so that we can drink good refreshing water and not that other tap water. <laughs> there is a difference. We prefer the bottled water to drink or so. I don't know. I don't know. I was sent here. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing what I'm told. I guess I should have emptied my back seat first. Well, I'm gonna throw it all in there. I don't know what's going on. That's my new slogan, I think. I don't know what's going on. Like I was saying before, the main task for today is to get all of the stuff that was in my big truck inside our house and go through it. I think a lot of it I'm gonna have to throw out and a lot of it, I don't know where we're gonna put it. We don't have much storage space. So that should be interesting. I'm definitely not gonna need all of that stuff with me 
everywhere I go anymore. It's like I never threw anything out. I just held on to it. Maybe I'll need it one day. I don't know. Today is the day we go through it. And I want to know how much of that same stuff you got in your truck. Maybe it's time for you to clean out your truck if you're out there on the road. This is our uh, wonderful city hall off on the left here. It's got this nice big Canada flag on it, but I got a little bit of a beef with them. They don't light it up at night. Why do you got such a big, beautiful flag up there if you're not going to light it up at night? This uh, water softener makes some funny noises. Just don't mind that over there. So I got to get all my stuff out of the truck. I just left it in there all night because I figured it would be a nice project for today. All of the stuff I had in the big truck. I'm going to pile it all up right here. Okay, and then we're going to bring it into the house. And we're going to go through it one bag at a time. Sorting out what we need, what we need to throw out, what I need to put away, and what I can still use. And then finding places for everything. This should be fun. Still got my loves card, my Pilot Flying J card here. I have two loves cards. Huh. Twice as good. Cool. So we're going to put that there. Get the wife's purse out of the way, because you don't want that to get mixed up with all my junk, because that is definitely not junk. I don't know what's all in there. Does anybody know what's in their per- I don't know. I don't think she knows what's all in there. Okay, let's do this. Shoehorn activated. Right. I wanted to go live tonight too, but maybe we'll just go live uh, tomorrow, which will be Thursday. So when you're watching this. I need to set it all up, and it's been busy the last couple of days getting everything moved over. Uh, I think I'm going to want a warmer hat than this, though. I'm going to put this up here above you guys. Put on my Cousin Ed hat. Okay. Here we go. Dear. And that, that didn't fit up there. Three of those pillows were Diesel's pillows. And all the rest of that, we gotta find spots for all of that. And attracting a whole bunch of snow. Uh. All right, oh, you're waiting for me. Sergeant Frank. On duty? Keep an eye out, man. Watch your six. You never know what could sneak up behind you. Brit's watching the classics. A 1930s Christmas. Right around there. This one might be the 20s. All right, no procrastinating. We're just gonna put this all onto the spare bed and we'll go through it there. Glad we got such a small house, I don't have to carry it very far.
Okay, so pillows, that's pretty simple. I'm gonna wanna keep this one. That's mine. Those are for the dogs. We'll see if we need them or not. If not, what do you think, Diesel? We should probably keep them. You're saying keep them? I think you should keep them, man. Just in case. Very true. Very true. That pillow's mine. Actually, you know what? That shouldn't go on the top of the dog blankets. You know, we'll put it up here for now. Deal with that later. We put this sheet over the bed, just like I did in the semi-truck. We do that at home as well. And yes, we are going to get an actual bed frame yet. Our old bed frame doesn't really fit in here very well. It's it's right there. It's going to the dump. And it's broken at the top anyway. So we're going to get a new one without a footboard so that uh, it's a little bit more space to walk around here. It's easier to get on and off of. But for now, we're kicking it like teenagers and sleeping on the floor. There are other things to spend money on right now other than a bed frame. Like Christmas. Oh yeah, the good old vacuum. Still come in handy. I'm probably gonna have to detail my own pickup because uh, I don't think I'm gonna spend the money on a detail this month now. Once again, Christmas. Gotta be careful with our money. Especially now. Make sure that we're gonna be okay. All right, I'm gonna get everything else onto the bed there and we'll uh, take it from there. Diesel, how about you sort through all this? Make yourself useful. No? You don't like that idea? <laughs> yeah, well, here's Diesel's steps. I'm guessing these will probably go in the shed. I'm gonna put these out here for now, Diesel. These are gonna go in the shed. How much stuff do you guys have in your trucks? I saw a comment, a couple of comments saying that there's a lot of guys out there who have just about the same amount of stuff in their day cabs that I did in my whole sleeper truck. All right, tie these all in knots too, of course. There we go. Diesel, what do you think? Does this all smell pretty familiar to you? Okay. An old loaf of bread. I was just gonna say, I'm surprised it's not moldy, but it's been frozen in the truck for a few weeks. Swiffer! Look at these diesel. <laughs> Want to uh, put that off to the side. That actually will be useful in the house. Lots of plastic utensils. Safety glasses. More safety glasses. Kleenex. An empty garbage bag box with an old camera frame in it. Interesting. This is my medical bag where I have just a, just a few things. That and uh, band-aids, first aid kit, calamine lotion, Sunscreen. A bar of soap. So that fits in. Benadryl. And a whole bunch of hand sanitizer. Kitchen garbage bags. This is one of the most awesome purchases I've ever made for the truck. It's a cordless fan. Super quiet. And you just charge it up during the day. Video bombing me. <laughs> I don't think she realizes she was on video there. Yeah, one of these. These I got off Amazon. What's it called? Uh, B E one, like the letter B E, and then the number one. This was awesome for in the hot climates where they would, uh, uh, where it wasn't quite hot enough for my truck to stay running all night, but it was. Uh, just cool enough that my truck wouldn't idle because I had that automatic idle shutdown. This thing was a lifesaver. I wouldn't have been able to sleep without this. I had several people messaging me making sure that I didn't forget my GPS. Don't worry guys, Karen is safe and sound. She's going to go into the closet now where she can't boss me around anymore. Satellite radio. 
I'm probably going to transfer my membership from this radio to my pickup. That's what I'm thinking. I'm going to hold on to this just in case. It's always handy to have an extra radio around. Well, you remember our big plans to have steak tonight? I forgot to check to make sure that we had propane. So we don't have propane. So we're oh, having man. poor man's steak in a pan. This is how I used to always cook my steaks yeah. before I had a barbecue when I first moved out. Cook them in a pan. It works because we both like it medium rare to rare anyways. Or used to like it with a little bit of moo in it. So she likes it really rare. So all you gotta really do is sear Not both really sides. really rare. And, no, I like it medium rare more on the rare side. No, more, more on the rare side. No more moo? You don't like the moo in there anymore? I like lots of moo, but not just searing on one side. Okay, not like blue moon or whatever they call that? Blue? Yeah. Blue? Is it called blue like moon? Blue, blue something? Blue steak? What, am, uh, what do I know? I, I don't know what's going on. So yeah, we're having steak and potatoes. Uh, I'm gonna mash those potatoes up yet and these should be done in a little while. It works. I'm not going out to get propane now. I'm, I'm way too hungry for that. But uh, I did get that milk this morning. Just throwing that out there. That was me. I am a man of many talents. I'm the milk man, I'm the potato man. I also drive trucks. Sometimes. Look at this. <laughs> She just said, just keep mashing. I'm really looking forward to this. Just gonna take a quick little gander inside here. See if uh, the inside is to my standards. I think I cooked it too long. Oh no, no, oh. Show the camera, show the camera. She's moving. She is perfect, I think. Mmm, she's got some pretty good moo in the center yet. We might want to put her on a little longer. What do you think of this? Uh, yeah, maybe another minute. It's hard to do it on the pan because it uh, the outside always looks like it's cooked. Uh, it's just fully easier cooked. all around on the... Uh, yeah, the outside makes it look like it's fully cooked. Put it back on there just for a little bit. Yeah, that was always the problem with cooking on a pan. I remember this now from... In the bachelor days, long time ago, in a far away land, when you cook it on a pan, uh, it makes it look all around like it's well done, but the inside is still not quite done. It's, it's much better cooking it on a barbecue, much better. But this works when you really want steak and you're out of propane. Yeah, Josh. Apparently we're gonna have some With garlic breath. breath. <laughs> I think I overdid it, guys. <laughs> oh well, I, I'm a quarter Polish, really. You can never overdo the garlic, right? More garlic, the better. Keep That's the vampires right. away. That's right. Are you a weasel? Keep the weasels away, too. <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting a little further away than usual, but Frank's still there. I lost my sense of smell in the war. <laughs> Sergeant Frank. So the steaks turned out all right. Not nearly as good as it would have been on a barbecue, but it was a steak. So thanks for watching today, everybody. Uh, kind of bittersweet going through everything from on the road, sorting it all out. We still got to find places for quite a bit of stuff. Uh, we're not quite done sorting through it all. There's a lot of stuff in there. Let me know down below uh, if you think you got more drunk in your truck than I had in my truck. <laughs> I'd love to know. Make me feel better. I feel like I got a lot of clutter in there that I didn't need. So we'll see you tomorrow for another video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you later. <laughs>